If you've never heard of Animation Club, Animation... What? If you've never heard of 11 Second Club, it's uh, pretty much a, an online animation competition. It's monthly, so how it works is they will provide a dialogue that you have to animate to, and the winner gets an e-critic from uh, a professional animator. And the winner is determined by, by votes pretty much. You have to go onto this website in the end of the month or the beginning of the next month and cast your votes. The winner gets the e-critic. So I'll be joining it for this month, June 2016. And you watch me um, progress as how I how I my work in progress of how I work on this competition. So I'll start from a, 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 what, how I plan it, what my thought process, and what how I block my shots as well. So the first thing I do right is I listen to the dialogue over and over again. Let me just play it back for you to hear it. I want to try it again, but this time we need you to do an accent. You mean like an Indian accent? Yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, I'd rather not. I just feel kind of weird doing that voice. Is that okay? Now once I listen to the dialogue and I try to um, picture in my mind what the situation is, it's still kind of vague so that my main suggestion is to write down the whole dialogue. Right here I wrote down the script of the characters. So you, uh, first character says this, I want you to try it again. But this time, we need you to do the accent. And the second character says, you mean like an Indian accent? The first character says, yeah, yeah, really quickly. The second the guy says, uh, you know, I'd rather not. I just feel kind of weird doing that voice. Is that okay? Now, um, I tried to create a story out of this this scene. So what my my thought is, uh, is an interview si a situation. Like um, an interviewer interviewing an actor or actresses. If you find on YouTube, there's a lot of these these interviews with um, the interviewers on the one side on the chair. And then the actors on the other side with the chair. And they're supposed to be behind, so it's that kind of setup that I want. Once I got that um, kind of setup done, I'll try to figure out where the key poses are in the dialogue. So you see all these uh, little circles right here? These are my key poses. And once I got that key poses down, I want to think about um, what are the thought process? What is the character thinking? So the, inter the interviewer, which is the first one, the first dialogue, her thought process is um, she's kind of bored, you know, she's always interviewing all these uh, famous actors, actresses and always asking the same questions again. Um, so she's trying to make it more interesting, you know, she wants to get them to, to see something really embarrassing or something exciting. And then uh, if the, view, the, in, the video gets popular, she gets, I don't know, she gets a promotion, she gets and more money. So I kind of thought that um, the interviewer would have this kind of a fake, this kind of two-faced, uh, fake smile kind of uh, character. They're very good at covering that up. So I want to exaggerate that, that kind of emotion. So I made her have a phone and she's going on her phone during the interview, uh, just to exaggerate uh, the emotion. Now the second character, I want to write down uh, what their thoughts are when uh, he's listening to, these, to this uh, thing that the interviewer is asking him. Or telling him to do. I want him to have this kind of look like um, thinking, are you serious? Are you, ask are you really going to ask me this? You know, that kind of thing. So he has that kind of a very frowny face and kind of like, you know, threatening face. Yeah. And it's like, you mean like in the accent? And then after she says, yeah, and he does that weird sigh like, uh, you know, that awkward, like, uh, I'm not sure about that. So I want him that, um, I write down what his, what his thoughts are. So his thoughts are like, you know, why does everybody keep asking me this? just because I'm Indian. So I want that, that kind of uh, emotion just to put myself in his shoes so I can kind of create that emotion out of it. Now once I got that down, I got that kind of uh, emotion and key poses down, then I will go into the Maya file and I will try to plan it out. Um, I use a something called grease pencil, so which is a blue pencil. They can draw right on Maya scene itself. Let me show you. Alright, I lost my sketches. I don't know what happened. One of my old files, I guess it disappeared. <laughs> But anyway, I'll just show you how I use my uh, grease pencil. Now if you go to Maya, and you go to your camera, uh, the camera that you're going to use, and you hit this button right here. This button up here, it says, it's got grease pencil, it's got a little picture of a pencil on it. You click on that, you get this pop-up. So you get all these uh, different of, uh, pencils, you get pens and pencils. I like just using this. It's very handy, you could just draw right on the screen. You can undo, just like normally. So I can, you can draw by frames as well. So I can draw one in frame here, draw another one here, you draw another one here. It's very handy. And you, you see these little blue markers down here? You can actually move them around. So you can, you can adjust the timing to your liking. So I've been using this to kind of plan out a rough 
image of what my scene is going to be like. It did not look like the way I wanted it, but I, at least I got somewhere. My drawings were, were not very good as well. So once I got that uh, kind of down, I know that I have to record references because I want this uh, shot to be very subtle. It's not a big expression expression thing is already micro expression and you're just seeing how they feel very small stuff so I recorded some reference I shot it multiple times and then I just find which part that I like and just put it together I want to try it again but this time we need you to do an accent you mean like an Indian accent yeah, yeah. Uh, you know I'd rather not I just feel kind of weird doing that voice is that okay I'll show you some other uh, some other poses that I went through during the recording process just to kind of explore um, the character a little bit and explore the different poses that I could get. You mean like an Indian accent? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, I'd rather not. I just feel kind of weird doing that voice. Is that okay? You mean like an Indian accent? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, I'd rather not. I just feel kind of weird doing that voice. Is that okay? You mean like an Indian accent? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, I'd rather not. I just feel kind of weird doing that voice. Is that okay? So what I do is I try maybe just um, just once resting my arm on this side and maybe resting my arm on the other side maybe have this arm on my face, this arm on the chin or this arm here, this arm here anything, you know, just try it out uh, just kind of feel your character um, I think it's, it's an acting thing maybe now when I look at my reference, right, I want to copy it exactly but I want to look at all these uh, little things that I might be doing unconsciously when I'm going on my phone and then when I said, uh, but this time I kind of flick my wrist out a little bit with the phone so I want to put that in because I find that uh, I like little hand gestures like that. And a lot of things I don't really thought I'll be doing, like um, like looking up in the corner, just thinking about what what I was gonna say next. So I want to add that in as well. Now when I'm playing the uh, other character, I was trying to just put myself in that that zone of um, just being interviewed and then just kind of listening what the interviewer is gonna say. Uh, I find that a lot of actors and actresses they have this very sophisticated look. They always just brushing the chin, you're like mm, yes. Mm -hmm. So I want to add that kind of uh, pose in. I did not, wasn't planned to do with that, but I just kind of try to get into the character of the actor, and this kind of happened. So that's the magic of uh, recording references. You find all these little things by accident. And all these are little hand gestures, like all these like uh, when you're saying, you mean in the accent, you know these little hand gestures. I want to put that in as well. It creates a lot of uh, texture in your animation. Thing where I might. Uh, the character is looking up and kind of scratching his head. I did not plan to do that. It's it's more of just uh, the character is trying to think, trying to think of a nicer way to to reply. So he's just uh, kind of scratching his head, kind of figure this out. Yeah, I did not plan this. It just kind of happened by itself. So I keep that in mind. I want to put that in, and then you got my final pose, which is like you know like ah, uh, that uh, come on. Uh. So once I got all that key poses down, I want to block it out. Okay, so when I block it out, I just want to block out those the key poses that I mentioned, the little circles right here. I just want to block out those poses first. Those are the very important poses, the, key, the storytelling poses. So I will try to make them look as nice as possible. With the expressions, I don't the expressions I don't put too much into it. The mouth shapes is more like a rough emotion. So if they are happy, they are huh, and they are sad, they are huh. basic emotion. The eyebrows as well, just a basic. Um, it's a nice up and down shape, like poses like this, um, the mouth just like the, mm, the thinking pose and then the happy kind of face, just, I don't want to put too much detail into that you don't have to think about the, the lip sync yet same thing for the other character, put it in step mode I want to try it again, but this time we need you to do an accent you mean like an Indian accent? yeah yeah uh, you know I'd rather not, I just feel kind of weird doing that voice, is that okay? and then once I got that down if I feel like I need to add a bit more pose to kind of uh, feel the story because what I have right now, it, I get the idea but I wanted a bit more detail so I can feel the character and the weight and the timing so I added a bit more poses, a bit more breakdowns just to get the feel of the timing and the weight I want to try it again but this time we need you to do an accent you mean like an Indian accent? yeah yeah uh, you know I'd rather not I just feel kind of weird doing that voice, is that okay? it's still a blocking stage or blocking plus in somewhere in between to kind of tweak my reference a little bit my reference right um, I did not drop my arm down uh, when he says I rather not that I rather not so um, because that part I wanted a, a bit more beat in that pose so I kind of tweak it and kind of drop the arm down as he said I rather not you know kind of create a rhythm so at moments like this is when you have to take what you have in your reference and just kind of uh, 
tweak it to implement into your animation. So once I put in a more detailed uh, breakdown poses, uh, breakdown for my uh, animation in step mode, I'll try to polish it some more and I add more detail into the po uh, the poses. So for for things like this, uh, when he's like scratching his head, I'll just add this um, just simple just to get the timing, just to get the feel of it. And you notice the expressions are still very basic. The mouth doesn't move. It's just the emotion of the, the character at that time. It's just the mouth shape. You do, so you don't want to do any lip sync yet. But the eyeballs, you want to create, um, just try to create nice um, shapes like this nice shapes and one kind of going up and down you don't want it to be too unison with the eyes the hands you want to create a nice uh, silhouette so you don't want it to be this the spread out like like this you know so I create some a nice spacing between the fingers if you find that you're, you're not feeling your character yet or you're not too sure about it um, try to get some feedback ask your colleagues ask your friends or sometimes you could just go and just go do something else like go play some game eat lunch take a break do other things draw and then come back to it again and you might see something else so i'll show you what i have when i add more breakdowns into my animation i want to try it again but this time we need you to do an accent you mean like an indian accent yeah yeah uh, you know, I'd rather not. I just feel kind of weird doing that voice. Is that okay? And then once I got um, all my breakdown poses down, I would then spline it just to make sure everything is smooth. No weird kinks, no weird rotations. And then after that, I would... Uh, uh, I, oh, after that, I would just uh, move things around and see which part needs to be faster, which needs to be slower. And I, I'm still keeping everything very neat. So this is what it looks like when I spline it. I want to try it again, but this time... We need you to do an accent. You mean like an Indian accent? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, I'd rather not. I just feel kind of weird doing that voice. Is that okay? So that's what I have so far. I'm going to continue working on this. This is going to be a part 2 um, series for this, this 11 second club. So I'll make a part 2 by the end of this month. Just to show you what I did before I publish it. Or after I publish it. We'll see um, when I have time. That's all for this video. I'll be making more videos like this. If you like my resources, I'll be making this weekly. Uh, subscribe if you like it and don't subscribe if you don't like it. Bye-bye.